Hey, Phone Sites users. So quick video here. I just want to show you another feature that's been rolled out. Now, in addition to being able to use a, uh, an image as your background uh, or a solid color as your, your background or for like a button, you also now have the option to use a gradient. And now in the past, um, I added in gradients for backgrounds by using some coding, but you no longer have to do that. You can use the color swatch. So let's go into settings here and let's pick our background color. So I'm gonna go ahead and select background and then I'm gonna paginate forward. Uh, I could paginate backwards because the new options are all the way at the end, but let's just go ahead and paginate forward here until you start to see these color gradients. So let's go ahead and pick maybe like this blue and white one here. It's gonna have some white at the top and then blue towards the bottom. So let's, let's add that in there. Let's select save. And then if I wanted to do the same for the middle, I mean, I could do that as well. So again, let's paginate forward here. Now this is gonna look a little funky for a gradient on top of a gradient, but I just wanna show you the capabilities here. So you can have like a, you know, like a solid background and then this gradient in the middle or something like that if you wanted to. Okay, and then now I can do the same thing with buttons. So let's go ahead and change our yellow button uh, let's pick something else here. Let's see, what do I want to put in there? Um, maybe uh, this weird one here that kind of looks like Instagram colors. So let's put that in there. Okay, and then I can even do the same up here for my navigation bar. So let's go ahead and change the background. What do we want to pick this time? Let's see, I'll just pick that. So, okay, all right, so my page is looking kind of odd here, but you get the idea that you, now you can kind of spice things up a little bit. I wouldn't go as overboard as I did here, but there you go. Now you can use gradients for buttons, the middle box here, and then backgrounds and navigation at the top. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let us know.